there are spiritual forces please listen now and controlling powers that sit upon every territory these are the spirits people of god that control the minds influence the culture of a place you can know the controlling powers within a territory by seeing the patterns that cut across the people that live there there are territories where the men never become responsible this is not some village thing anywhere the moment you enter that city there are cities the moment you enter even with money money goes down many years ago I took a cab in Abuja up to 10 maybe 11 years ago and the man made a statement that surprised me we were talking and he said sir do you know that all the money I make in Abuja I never seem to do anything useful with it he said so I came up I think he went to inquire from a medium or something like that and the man told him you would never be able to do anything with your money in Abuja when you take your money go out quickly out of Abuja and he said right now I've built a three bedroom flat because every time I collected money I will go out of that territory you notice that there are territories that carry certain patterns please understand whether you believe in what I'm saying or not just pay attention you will soon believe Thank you for watching Christian House channel. It is true. There are territories where you only survive there by becoming a slave. When you are within that territory, you are forced to serve, provided you are not domiciled within the earth, the soil of that territory. It takes warfare to dislodge these controlling powers. Mark chapter 5. Let me show you something. Mark chapter 5. Permit me, it's a reading that is a bit long. We'll start from verse 1. Please follow this. These truths are scattered all through scripture. And they came over to the other side of the sea. In fact, let's, we'll, we'll get back to Mark chapter 5. Let's, start, let's take the account of Luke. Luke chapter 8. Let's start from 22 so that you will understand the context. Luke chapter 8, 22. Now watch this. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said to them, let us go on to the other side of the lake. And so they launched forth. They wanted to make advancement. And the first thing that happened was as they, as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a what? Help me please. A, a storm of wind. What kind of description is that? It didn't say there came a wind. A storm of wind. On the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. 24. And they came in and awoke him saying, Master, we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind. And the raging of the water and it ceased and they were calm. You would think Jesus just spoke to the wind. He knew what he was speaking to. Are we together now? Now let's go to Mark chapter 5 and verse 1. It's still the same rendition but I just want us to see the account of Mark. Mark chapter 1. 5, sorry. Mark 5, 1. And they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings. Uh -huh. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately who came? There met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. Question. The Bible says the man dwelt in mountains. Who told him Jesus was coming? As soon as Jesus went to the other side, the first person to meet him was not the mayor of the city. The first person, remember there was a boy's terror storm. They were the controlling powers over that territory. Knowing that a man was coming to the other side to dislodge the gates of darkness. Understand the spiritual progression. The winds, you would call it a situation. The same way you plan to relocate to Lagos and lost your job. What is going on here? What suddenly happened? Controlling powers. We take territories when we understand the warfare dimension of prayer there is the intercessory dimension of prayer there is prayer commanding petitions but there is the art of spiritual legislature we call it warfare 
manipulating spiritual possibilities to align themselves to God's will. Verse 3. The Bible says, Who had his dwelling place among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been oft bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs. Notice this. Look at how Satan destroyed Gadarene. Number one, the controlling spirits found the spiritual voice that will later be the evangelist over that land and captured him. And the legion dwelt in him, took him to the mountains and kept him there. Controlling powers. Jesus says, let's go to the other side. And situations begin to happen. Thank you for watching Christian, Christian House channel. And he rebukes it. And then as soon as he arrives, he meets a madman. And hear what the madman says, verse 6. But when he saw Jesus, he ran and worshipped him. 7. And he cried with a loud voice, saying, Now listen, please. What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the Most High? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. 8. For he said, Come out of the man. You know, the unclean spirit and all of that. 9. And he asked, what is your name? And he said, Legion, for we are many. 10. And he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the territory. Territory. Jesus, do whatever you will do, but don't take us out of this territory. We dwell here. We have grown with the people. We manipulate their minds. We are responsible for the widespread poverty. We are responsible for the women working for the men. We are responsible for the inexplainable patterns. I ministered in a crusade some years ago, quite a while, in Shiruro. And I saw a situation that disturbed me. I saw many women, at least, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not exaggerating sincerely, at least 16 or 17, deaf and dumb. And they said the moment they gave birth, like a woman goes to the labor room and gives birth, she becomes deaf and dumb in a strange way. So the pastors were trying to bring their members to just sit down. And when I prayed for one, two, I said, no, this is not a, an issue of healing. There are controlling powers. Listen, when you see similarities in outcomes, Stop focusing on the individual cases. There are controlling powers responsible for that. The warfare dimension of victory. Believers do not understand this. There is no gate. There are gates that don't open. They are broken. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. As any man who has attained a level of influence in any field, if he's honest with you, he will tell you he knows what he did. Whether it's in music, like, like Pastor Nathaniel, whether it is in business, they will tell you. You heard him just talking about, um, um, you know, Zenith Bank and all of that. Now, you will not see that part on TV. I walked for more than one hour on the streets of Zaria from a point in town until I get to another town. I was praying in tongues and speaking over the city. I command the forces, the forces that come with the north. And boy, they are strong forces. Let me tell you this. anybody who has risen beyond the level because you see it's like a spiritual meter in the realm of the spirit once you oscillate within a particular threshold the realm of the spirit will not disturb you but hit a mark and let your voice rise and they know that this voice is becoming global someone will visit you from gathering and say where did you say you are going to Hallelujah. 
I remember when when I started ministry in Zaria, a number of people called me and said, Man of God, your grace is more than this city. What is where is Lagos? Abuja? I mean US, UK, which one is Zaria? I said, God just told me this is where I'll be in this season. And they said, ah, nobody will hear you. I said, so you say. Ah, but the realm of the spirit is powerful. Listen, if you know what to do, my brothers and my sisters, your life will become an unending wonder. I am telling you, stop focusing on just the physical things that are happening. Things are controlled from the realm of the spirit. It was the gods of the Medes and the Persians that ruled over Babylon. It was not Nebuchadnezzar. And when they saw that Daniel was becoming a threat, the way this man would rise, they used the parliament to say, the only thing we want you to stop is prayer for 30 days. That's it. Don't stop any other thing. Just make sure prayer. How can a parliament come together to meet to stop one man? Prayer. They didn't say we'll attack Daniel. They just said, this is our deliberation. As the politicians in Babylon, we have observed, but it was the spirits of the Medes and the Persians. And let me tell you what Daniel did. Huh, I love Daniel. The first thing he did was to open the window towards Jerusalem. Listen, there are times that you have to pray connecting to covenants. Let me teach you something about the warfare dimension of prayer. There are three ways to receive from the anointing of God. Listen, number one is through a personal encounter. Your personal encounter with God allows you to receive certain dimensions of his anointing. Number two, there are your obedience to principles. Enshrined in principles is a dimension of God's power. But number three, your alignment to covenants. This is the third way we access very strange dimensions of liftings. God has sworn with certain men on earth and put his integrity upon their lives. And you can leverage on the covenant that speaks. Remember when the temple in Jerusalem was being dedicated. Are we still together this night? Solomon prayed a prayer after they offered the bond offerings. And he said, oh God, whoever prays facing Jerusalem. He didn't say if the prayer is accurate. The moment they face Jerusalem, my covenant is that please hear them. Daniel knew that he was in a state of emergency. There's no room for trial and error of spiritual accuracy. He said, open the window. Let me face Jerusalem. Because this issue requires an alignment to covenant. Are we together? Goliath was not a giant. Goliath was the bodily representation of a spirit. And so when David came to fight Goliath, Saul didn't say, where were you trained? He said, whose son are you? In other words, let me see the tribe you come from. Because I understand that like minerals, there are spiritual allocations to tribes. When Haman went to discuss with his wife about his embarrassment in the palace, the wife asked him one question. She said, what is the name? Who are you fighting? He said, Esther. He said, you are finished. Esther is a Jew. Haman, your doom has come. In other words, didn't you have the brain to know you don't fight them? Hmm. Are we together? When, when Satan and Archangel Michael began to fight over the body of Moses, notice that Satan looked at Lucifer and said, The Lord rebuke you. He didn't say, I rebuke you. He didn't fight. Because the rankings, you see, the realm of the spirit, I hope you know that Lucifer's office was the son of the morning. Are we together? He was the custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom. And even in his fallen state, that there is a regard for that ranking. That's why the Bible says Jesus is the head of principalities. He recognizes their existence. He says he's head of them. They are there. You cast demons. You don't cast principalities. Go and read your Bible. That's why you cannot cast a devourer. No, you don't cast it by saying go. 
there are principles these are the kinds you overcome by the blood not every kind listen watch this please come come sir are you following me this night let's assume no no this this is a lady please go back i what i want to let's assume god forbid huh? just an example let's assume this guy is a thief are we together trying to boggle my house the moment you hear the sound of my voice what would you do you will run away because you are a thief but let's assume someone sold my house to you and you paid will you run away when i'm coming no it will take a lawyer to settle the matter there are things that don't go just because you say hey, in jesus name now these are the forces that we engage with intelligence jesus did not cast sin out of you as powerful this is the word becoming flesh and yet he did not cast that nature in his name listen there are mysteries behind territories there are controlling powers where i come from you don't last in ministry up to three years there are many great voices that have come from my region but you don't last up to three years a scandal or something terrible must bring you down three years is a lifespan of impact there are music ministers in this country who do not understand this and you see that they rise and respectfully speaking they go down never to rise again for some reason, new songs never come again. For some reason, what makes me celebrate one album and then I ignore you? Oh dear, they know not. Neither will they understand. There are preachers, you see this thing happen. For five, six months, everybody's placing a demand on your grace. You are everywhere and then it dies. That's it. You fade and look like the city. Because you see, these controlling powers have a bodily reflection of themselves on a city. So when you come, they turn you to look like the city. There are people who come into cities, millionaires, in six months, things begin to happen until they look like the city. They will tell you, I've been in the U.S. for 25 years. And you say, you look like you've never seen how an airport looks like. Say, I've been there. I ate with this. See the photos. The city turned them so. Listen, there are controlling powers. When I stood here and I was speaking to the gates and it was not just some ritual. There are real forces. It was our father in the faith, Bishop Oyedeko, that said one time when the church in Kaduna was not growing, I told you that there are territories. For some reason, he came out and was praying and said, God, why is this happening? And according to him, he said the Lord asked him to come out. And then he looked up when he looked up, he saw that there was a thick layer over the place. He said, this is the blindfolding layer that misrepresents you. And then he prayed and did something over it. It folded and the ministry opened. Whatever happens on earth is the receipt from what just Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.